to the rescue several dozen goats. The animals employed by Eco Goats are based in Davidsonville, Anne Arundel County. They're on call whenever there's a problem with underbrush or weeds or just plain unwanted vegetation. They're kind of herbicide with legs, so they'll eat everything that's here if they like it. So they'll eat, you know, we, we carefully fenced around the trees that we wanted to keep here because they gladly eat the dogwood and the maple and the redbud and all those things. Today's cleanup is also a teaching experience for the grade school students at Folger McKenzie Elementary School. All day long as the goats had their meal, the youngsters came out to watch and be fascinated. We don't really have to do much, we just let them eat all the weeds and it gets a, a better meadow so we can plant cool plants instead of weeds. I think it's really cool that they're going to eat the weeds and then we'd be able to plant cool stuff because I think that our school likes to plant different stuff and it's really cool to see all the different colors of the plants and I think it's really neat. It just wasn't really what I was expecting but it's a good way to do it because it's good for the goats and it's also good for the school. This green area was pretty much destroyed as the grade school underwent major renovations last year. The field, once the goats are finished, will be replanted by parents at the school. It was completely overrun, um, invasive vines, their, their construction vehicles were here, they squashed plants, it just couldn't be avoided unfortunately. Um, and it was just, it was gone. And eventually, what's it going to be? Eventually, it will be a, a new native meadow, a wildflower me meadow. We bring goats in for, for uh, problem vegetation control, places where people don't want to go or can't go, where they can't use machinery because it's too steep, too stony, uh, just too thick. Um, goats are ideal in situations like that. Uh, places where people don't want to use herbicide up next to water or, uh, you know, we do a lot of residential waterfront. There are some plants they won't eat. Things like pawpaw, jack in the pulpit. Uh, there are a lot of things that they shouldn't eat that are toxic, so we always have to check a site out ahead of time for that. What about stuff like uh, poison ivy? They love example? poison ivy. I don't know if poison ivy and thorns, blackberries, um, mile a minute, multiflora rose, they just, they love it. Spring is a busy time of the year for the eco goats. There seems to be plenty of work and food for the herd. Knox says that they're at a different site just about every day. Can you make money with goats? Um, yeah, if, if you're not afraid of sweat, ticks, and things that make you itch, um, I do all right. I, I work from, um, oh, the end of April, beginning of May through the end of October, typically. Um, we run two herds at a time. The goats will be here for most of the day. When they're finished, this field will be pretty much cleared out, and the youngsters here will have an excellent lesson in ecology. I'm Lou Davis for Your Money in Business.